David Cameron joined up with political rivals as he claimed an EU exit would put a bomb under our economy. Alongside Labour's Harriet Harman, Lib Dem leader Tim Farron and the Greens' Natalie Bennett, he accused the Leave campaign of being reckless over the economic case for quitting the EU. His comments come as senior Tories trade blows over the June 23 poll. Vote Leave said it had set out a series of pledges about how life will be better if we take back control. It said the pro-Remain politicians' speeches were desperate stuff from an increasingly desperate campaign. Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn, who is also backing a vote to stay in the EU, has refused to share a platform with Mr Cameron, so former deputy leader Ms Harman joined the other party leaders at the event in London. She said she was fearful that workers' rights would not be protected if the UK votes to leave, and said the government, not the EU, should be blamed for pressures on the NHS and housing supply. Ms Bennett cited environmental protections she said were the result of EU action and Mr Farron said the pretty unlikely show of cross-party unity showed the strength of feeling against made-up spending pledges being made by the rival side. In his speech, the PM repeated his warning of a decade of uncertainty if Britain leaves the EU and accused the Leave side of sticking pins on a map over how a future trade arrangement would work. He said the rival campaign, being spearheaded by Boris Johnson and Michael Gove, was playing with people's jobs and trying to dodge questions, accusing them of playing an economic con trick on the British people. At a Vote Leave campaign event, Mr Johnson said the benefits of being in the EU single market had been wildly overstated saying, the vision for taking this country forward is about taking back control. He said the UK could gain from free trade deals with China and the United States but that the UK could not do this as an EU member because such deals were controlled by the European Commission. It is a delusion to think we can somehow gain greater prosperity by bartering away our freedom and our democracy, he said, challenging the Remain side to spell out how they would tackle pressure on the NHS and housing caused by rising immigration.